this tool is probably joint most asked about um, along with the dent puller and that is my foot trimming tool so the idea behind this is it's two shaped ends that are just different sized uh, semicircles and you push it into the base after you've thrown and it adds a rounded foot in a couple of seconds rather than having to trim one on later um, and I came up with the idea I mean there are sort of variations on it but there's nothing I never found anything quite like this and the thing was I've been looking because I've been throwing these small uh, trinket bowls and I've been throwing them quite flat so they didn't have much height to them and when I was trimming them it was a real chore to get the trimming tool round the foot to trim a rounded foot and I always felt it was worth adding one because it made dipping them in the glaze so much easier and then again if you're kind of using them for stuff and loading them in the dishwasher you can pick them up when they're upside down so much easier if they have a foot rather than just ending. So I wanted to add a foot but trimming them on was probably taking longer for each thing than throwing them did. Um, and I was sure there was going to be a better way of doing it. Anyway, long story short, I made myself a tool out of mild steel that did it. And people kept asking me where they could buy one, and the answer was obviously you couldn't because I'd made it. But I put up, and there still are build instructions if you want to make your own on my blog. But um, after a, a little while of being asked by people who wanted one, I looked into, firstly, I started making them out of stainless steel because the mild steel goes rusty, so it's not ideal. Um, and then when demand proved to be more than the five that I initially bought material for, um, I got them laser cut by a laser cutting company. So the, the profile of them uh, is laser cut, so super precise. Um, and then I do the finishing myself. Um, but basically, they work like that. So you go from having uh, a straight foot to a rounded foot just by pushing that in. I know a lot of you will have found my channel through John the Potter, um, who has one of those and uses it on a lot of his pots. Yeah, thanks, John. <laughs> I'm glad he's still using it after. I sent that probably a year ago and he's used it on a, a lot of pieces by now. I've been using mine for years. Um, and yeah, so it's 2mm thick stainless steel laser cut to uh, shape. It's got an 8mm round end on one end, which I was, was the one I just used for that smaller piece, and a 12mm, which is what I use on my fruit bowls. Um, they're available from my website and nowhere else stocks them and maybe that's something I'll look into one day but I don't, I'd much rather be a potter than a tool maker so this is one of those things where I'm happy to make them and sell them to other people who want them but I don't really want to want that to become the main focus of what I do but um, they are available through my shop and that's it really, they they are what they are and I'll just record one more clip demonstrating how they cut the foot. They are very useful, particularly for smaller bowls where the time to trim a foot afterwards would be kind of a hundred times more than the time to add it like this. Uh, plus, obviously, they give you a very consistent profile to the foot because because it's two mil thick stainless steel, it's not going to change shape. It's going to take you years worth of constant use to even think about wearing it out. You want to leave yourself the height 
roughly of clay at the bottom that you want to trim off and then you just push the foot trimming tool in and you've got a foot. Simple as that.